Welcome, A students, you bright young things that I have often called high school kiddies. Before corona craziness, you would be walking into a classroom and there would be some kind of documentary playing. Usually, I would have a show called Globe Trekker, Spiritual Journeys, playing on the screen. You would see young people much closer to your ages that the old, than the old professor you will be listening to, these young people would be talking to various people and specialists of the world's major religions. The old man with his kangol hat wearing a vest would walk into class and ask, what are you watching? You probably wouldn't know, but I would tell you. Then I would give you a fun in-class quiz for which you wouldn't be graded. I would skip to a section of the documentary where a group of men and women would be twirling round and round in a beautiful and meditative fashion. I would, I would ask, from what religion does this activity come? You probably wouldn't know, but I would tell you that the religion is Islam. Those were whirling dervishes, engaging in a type of mystical trance movement. Then I would skip ahead to a young lady speaking in front of a beautiful populated square. At this square is a very beautiful looking cathedral. There is a good chance that one or more students might guess that the place to be the Vatican. Before I hand out and discuss the syllabus, I would ask you bright young things to take a few minutes to walk around and introduce yourselves to each other. Maybe during the semester I will attain the technological skills to have you young people meet each other virtually. But for now, let's look at the first page of the syllabus. At the top is the basic labeling for this section and your instructor. I could have put the PhD after my name. I'm a doctor, but not the kind that could cure you from disease. My office phone number can be utilized and will be forwarded to my email. I will check my email frequently throughout the semester, even though official office hours are listed. The textbook, Living Religions by Mary Pat Fisher, has been one of the most popular texts for many years. I utilized this earlier edition as it is more affordable. You can get the, the text at the campus bookstore or the bookstore across the street from campus on Southern Avenue. Or another option is to order this text online pretty cheaply. Or another option is to take your chances and not purchase the text at all. It is still always pre preferable to read material in your textbook. The course objectives are the necessary modifications from my live sections, and following these objectives is a 2006 statement that instructors on the religious studies side of our department began placing on their syllabi. This addresses our aim to teach about religions in a fair and objective way, not to show favoritism to any one religion. At the bottom of the page is the basic outline for the course and the point distribution. For the first module, reading the book's first chapter is optional. Most of the recordings will relate to the tribal materials in chapter two. 